You've got to talk to her. Guinevere with a baby would be a disaster. Uh, off then. Yeah, gonna knock back a few beers while I still can. Uh, so you saw that doctor, did you? Got the ball rolling, you might say. Oh, Quinn? Yeah? Listen, uh, I've been thinking about having a baby for quite some time now. Uh, and let me tell you, it's not something you rush into. You don't rush into anything. Yes, well, well be that as it may, I, 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 I'm going to a workshop tonight. It's called So You Think You Want to Have a Baby. It's about... Yeah, I think I can guess. And you're going? Yes, I, I was wondering if you might want to come with me. Yeah, why not? The important thing to remember, ladies, is that your body may want you to have a baby, but you must want to have it, too. First, I think we should examine our hormonal indicators. What's an indicator? Like if you're pregnant? Well, that's one, certainly. This is Chip. He's a lifelike replica of a three-month-old baby. For our first assignment, one of you will take Chip home and care for him. He'll cry if he's left alone or not fed, or if he's wet. It's all programmed by a small computer chip. <laughs> That's why we call him Chip. <laughs> chip will show you just how finely tuned your maternal instincts are. <laughs> well, who wants to go first? Me! I've diarized having a baby for next May, and if I miss this deadline, I don't know when I can reschedule. Thanks, hon! You're okay with that, aren't you, girls? You want me in Munich for the closing? Tomorrow? Fine, but it'll cost you a bump in my options package. Deal. Margaret. Hey, listen, it is Margaret, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Great. Listen, honey, something's come up. I love this thing like a son or a daughter, whatever the hell it is, but I can't take care of it this week. Look after it for me, will ya? I'll bring you some lederhosen from Munich. I love ya. Ciao! Hello? Hey, I can be there in 15 minutes. Order one for me. Thanks, this was fun. I think she wet herself. Oh, my God. It's like a nightmare. I, I can hardly hear myself think. No, that's abuse. Huh? You can't abuse a doll, Margaret. Now give it here. Stop it! Hey! Oh, stupid Stop. little... Quiet! Stop. Stop. No. Oh! Shut up! Oh, I hate this thing! Stop it! Nasty Stop little it. thing! Oh! They're gonna think I did it. No one's gonna think anything. What are you doing? Oh, it's just a short bio for my sperm bank file. Are you actually going to go through with this? Well, unless you've got a good reason why I shouldn't. No, I suppose. <gasps> William! Elizabeth! Oh, bad dogs! Oh, they're going to think I'm a proper psychopath. Describe any outstanding accomplishments. Hmm. Road for Oxford at Henley. Decorated in Falklands War. Oh, and remember when I showed Stephen Hawking where the black hole in space was? Oh, you didn't do any of those things. You rode to Oxford on a double-decker bus and got quite sick, I remember. And you tripped over Dr Hawkins' wheelchair at the book signing in Putney. I distinctly heard his assistant say black hole. No, Bob, it just sounded like black hole. And decorated from the Falkland Islands, please. Margaret, I was given that bookmark from the library for donating my collection of Falkland War newspaper clippings. Don't be so literal. <laughs> Listen to this. Hobbies. Olympic sailor. Chess grandmaster. Reading to the blind. What a crock! <laughs> <laughs> or this one. I like to walk alone on a sandy beach at sunset and catch snowflakes on my tongue. Please. <laughs> What's this? Uh, some kind of dating service? They all lie, you know. It's so silly. Let me have a look. Oh, here's one. Road for Oxford at Henley. Uh, decorated in Falklands. Uh, this isn't a dating service. Ooh, is that the six foot two, ruggedly handsome one who found the black hole for Stephen Hawking? Number 8321. He's my favorite. F favorite what? Sperm donor. I decided to have a baby. Doesn't he sound yummy? I'll be a little late tonight. I have to stop in at the sperm bank. Uh, 
the thing is, it's not just your sperm. What? Well, whose is it then? Well, you know, uh, it's really ours if you think about it. Like the silverware and that soup dream from your mother. If we want to have a child later, there's nothing stopping us. This is something else altogether. What if your sperm goes to somebody we know? Somebody we work with, for example, in very close proximity, every day? Oh, don't be silly, Margaret. The chances would be one in a billion. But I'll tell you what, I'll split the $175 fee with you, right down the middle. And if that's not being unselfish, I don't know what is. Gwen, can you file these? Not now, Margaret. I have to go. She has a date with destiny. I have a date with number 8321 at Dr. Gilroy's fertility clinic. Mr. Falkland's war hero. Uh, you have to stop her. What am I supposed to do? Put a gun to her head? It's a free country. No, you can't. Not now, not him, not today. It has to be today. I'm ovulating. Yes, well, be that as it may, uh, uh, that man's all wrong for you. Wait, uh, here's somebody who's perfect. Medieval scholar, m makes his own chain mail. Oh, here, 2755, an accountant who collects Beanie Babies. You love Beanie Babies. My mind's made up. I want my rowing black hole war hero. Well, you can't have him. He's mine. What? Uh, 8321 is Bob. Bob Fish. You're Bob Fish? <laughs> <laughs> Six two, ruggedly handsome. Oh, that's your Bob, all righty. It is. Then he's a liar. Well, yes, uh, and your baby would be a liar. So you're married to a psychopathic liar. Well, that's putting it a bit strongly. Bob uh, has a rich interior life, which is all made up. Well, it does say he's a dentist. Margaret, I know what you're trying to do. Good. Uh, I'm glad you. And I think it's sweet that you're trying to make this fun for me. I appreciate it. Thanks. I, I have to make a phone call. Uh, hello, Heather. It's Margaret. Is Bob there? Oh, did he say where he's going? Oh, did he use words like destiny or, or mankind or, or, or civilization as we know it? Robin, uh, hold on my appointments. Uh, I'm needed elsewhere. Fish, uh, I believe I'm expected. Fish? No, nothing here. You picking up a package? Uh, no, I'm, uh, 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 you know, leaving something, actually. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Deliveries are downstairs. I'm, uh, I'm here to make a, uh, you know, a donation. Ah, you're a sperm donor. Oh, why you not say so? <laughs> Ladies? Room three, down the hall. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Room three. Room three. Turkey? Thank you. <laughs> Sperm must have it before it's too late. Look, lady, I don't care how desperate you are to have a baby. You still have to wait your turn. Now go sit down. Dr. Gilroy Fertility Clinic, how can I help you? No. Only professionals. <coughs> oh, uh, terribly sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Bob! Margaret, what are you doing here? Bob, don't do it. I, I beg you. Okay. I won't let you. I forbid it. What? I said okay. Why? Because of what I said? And how I feel? Well, you know, that too. But mostly because, you know how I can't even go to the loo in a public place if there's anybody standing beside me? Well, this is worse. Oh. You know, I still think Ken does great work here, but I'm afraid he'll have to do it without me. Oh, Bob. That's not how we conceive babies. I mean, it can be done that way, certainly, but not around here. Well, truth is, Ken, I I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass on this sperm donor thing. I just can't... Don't worry, lots of men can't. Oh, no, no, it's not that. I can. I can't. It it it's just that right here, right now, you know, I, I, c I can't. No need for excuses. 
I have a colleague who does wonders in that department. I'll make you an appointment. Hey, what's the holdup here? I was supposed to see the doctor. <gasps> Margaret, what are you do? No pleasing some people.